Greetings. Today we will talk about our paper Impact of General Anesthesia on Embryo Transfer published in the in International Journal of Scientific Research in February 2021. Now we all know that there are some patients that give us the history of difficult IUI or difficult embryo transfer in previous uh, cases and we have done a hysteroscopy, a mock embryo transfer, cervical dilatation if necessary before the IVF cycle and yet when we are doing the process we do find difficulties. So in these cases and in women where there is severe vaginismus who have tried other methods like artificial insemination who are at an advanced stage where we have to do embryo transfer after an IVF procedure. In such cases, uh, giving general anesthesia under propofol does ease the process of embryo transfer and improve pregnancy rates. We compared uh, 50 women where we gave anesthesia and 50 where we didn't and we found that their pregnancy rates did not differ. That means uh, where Propofol or the process of anesthesia during embryo transfer does not have a negative impact uh, on the outcome. We can uh, draw a conclusion that perhaps uh, though a study needs to be done with that effect also that perhaps if we did not give anesthesia and a difficult traumatic embryo transfer was done, these women would have had a smaller uh, pregnancy outcome. Not much work has been done on the effect of general anesthesia and embryo transfer. The ASRM recommends that general anesthesia in routine embryo transfer is not recommended and that is our recommendation and experience as well. We are adv advocating it for a very select group of very difficult embryo transfer or severe vaginismus patients. There has been a work done by an Egyptian group which has done a similar work on women where there is difficult embryo transfer and they have found that the pregnancy outcome is the same. Uh, so we are uh, happy that this uh, work got published and we hope uh, our patients benefit from this work. Thank you very much.